Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Another day, another drama channel drama. And today we're gonna be talking about Sebastian Williams and Tea Spill with a special guest appearance from Dustin Daly as well as Here for the Tea. Now, in case you don't know who either of these channels are, both Sebastian Williams and Tea Spill are drama channels, obviously. But Sebastian Williams started on YouTube, according to Social Blade, on August 15th in 2017 and has 757,000 subscribers. And T Spell, I believe, is the largest drama channel. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but pretty sure she's the largest drama channel. Started May 15th, 2017, and has 1.51 million subscribers. So all of this drama popped off yesterday on Twitter when Sebastian Williams tweeted out this. I don't mind people making stories about the same topic, but at T Spill YT covering the whole story I did yesterday, which she got from me and gave me zero credit is disappointing to say the least. And what he is referring to is the video that he did about Nikki Tutorials, where Nikki talks about how she was treated when she went to the Ellen show after she came out as transgendered. And you can see here in this screenshot that his video has 2 million views in two days. And you can see by the following screenshot that T Spell's video has 1 million views in one day. And then that's when Here for the Tea chimed in and said the following. She's been doing that since she started her channel. Not surprised. At all. To which someone replied saying, Here's the video T Spell used, and then the clip where T Spell blurred the subtitles to add their own. You can clearly see that T Spell used this video. Sebastian's text is larger and doesn't have the same transition effect. Third pick is Sebastian's video. Here for the Tea then replied saying, His video was the original. He should have been credited. To which T Spell replied saying, No, it wasn't. The video I used was from a video uploaded by a smaller YouTuber over a month ago now. I used their and credited them and linked them in my description. T Spell then replied to somebody else and then also linked the video that she used in her tweet saying, No, I did not. I'm not sure why this is being spread. I used this video and credited them appropriately for their translation. Now what this video in question is about is an interview that Nikki Tutorials did with a Dutch talk show host where she talked about her experience on The Ellen Show. So this is where T-Spell is saying that she got her video from, not from Sebastian. Someone then replied to T-Spell saying, Why not give credit when it's obvious credit was needed though? Like his subtitles were blurred out and it wasn't an accident. To which T-Spell replied saying, those weren't his subtitles. The video I used was from a small channel who posted the video with subtitles and was uploaded a month ago. I gave credit to them and linked them in my description. His video or subtitles were never used. And Dustin Daly then replied to T-Spill and said, He's a douche. Mind you, he stole an entire edit from me that took hours to make with no credit and when I called him out, he acted like a child. Followed by, he thinks he's cute with his smart attitude. Now, I will be going into the drama between Sebastian Williams and Dustin Daly later on in this video about the clip that he stole from Dustin, so definitely make sure you stick around for that. But let's go ahead and continue on with this drama. Another user replied saying, I don't get why people think they're his subtitles. You can literally tell the difference between his video and the blurred version you used. The font placement, sizing, and transitioning between phases are not the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the subtitles and find out what all this is about. Someone tweeted out, She didn't steal your footage slash translation. The first image is Sebastian's. The second is another translation. The third is T-Spill's video. As you can see, T-Spill used the second picture because of the subtitles are smaller than Sebastian's. Now, on the top is the original video, and you can see the subtitles at the bottom. The picture in the middle is from T-Spill's video, and you can see that she blurred out the subtitles and then added her own at the bottom. And on the way bottom, you can see Sebastian's video where he added the subtitles right on top of the video. Now you can see the size difference between the text on Sebastian's video and the original video, that his subtitles are way larger. So clearly, T-Spill did not use Sebastian's video. Now, of course, next I wanted to see what the description box for T-Spill's video looked like as well as for Sebastian's, and here is what I found. Now, here is T-Spill's video, and in the description you can see it says, Credit to Sebastian Williams for making this topic mainstream in the drama community. You can watch his full video here. And then she shared the link to his video. Now, I think it's funny that T-Spill linked his video in the description, but she didn't say, and here is the source of the video. She just said, thanks, Sebastian, for making this mainstream in the drama community. 
over on Sebastian Williams' video description. It just has his Instagram linked as well as his Twitter linked. Now, what I find funny about Sebastian Williams' description in his video is that he doesn't link the original source of the video that he is so mad that T-Spill quote-unquote stole from him. Like, okay, you're gonna call her out for using your video clip, which she clearly didn't because the subtitles in her video are completely different, but yet you didn't even link the original source for the video in your description. Hi, pot, meet kettle. But in the end, it seems that they have worked everything out because Sebastian Williams tweeted out the following. Me and T-Spell have resolved it in the DMs. She agreed to credit me and I promised to contact her in the DMs if something happens before going public. Wow, mature, oh, and we're still good. Now, what I find completely ironic about this tweet is he was like, oh, we agreed to talk in the DMs before anything goes public. Well, instead of making this public in the first place, Sebastian, why didn't you just send T-Spill a DM and say, hey, what's going on with your video? Like, I feel like you stole that from me. And you could have resolved this in the DMs before all this went public, and now you look like a fool, in my opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and get on into the drama between Sebastian Williams and Dustin Daly. Now, this did happen a while back, but I felt that it needed to be brought up because it fits the situation at hand. Dustin Daly tweeted, This pisses me the F off, man. Something that took me hours to edit gets used by multiple people that so much as a credit me. It wouldn't be a big deal if it didn't take me forever to edit the together. Randy Savage then replied saying, at Seabass Williams, why didn't you even credit Dustin? To which YouTube T replied saying, he never credits anyone. And then Dustin replied saying, credit would have been nice. Content thieves that get more views, such BS. So here we have it, back in 2018, Sebastian Williams was caught stealing people's edits without giving them credit, but yet he's getting mad because people are using his clip, quote unquote, even though it wasn't even his clip. All right, let's just keep on going. Now, Dustin clearly was not having it since it took him hours to edit this together, and then he tweeted out this. Yep, and when I struck his video, he removed it and blocked me because I called him a and Dustin then tweeted out, At Sebastian Williams, if you're going to use a clip of video that took me hours to edit together of Jaclyn Hill saying Morphe over and over again, you could at least sort me or link me in something, sis. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this video in question. I managed to go back onto Dustin's Twitter and found a video that he uploaded where he explained what happened. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I just uploaded my video and somebody commented on my video asking if I had seen Sebastian Williams' video about Jaclyn Hill and this whole key sunglass ordeal and I hadn't seen it yet. Well, I went to watch it and I seen something that looked very familiar to me. I thought that looked a little bit familiar because it literally took me like four hours to edit a 30 second video to find all those Morphe clips. So I went to my channel on a video that I uploaded on July 26, 2017, and tell me that this is not the same video. He obviously didn't use this part, but it took me literally three to four hours to edit a 30 second video together. And for somebody to take something that I worked so hard on and not so much as even credit me, nothing, there's nothing, it really aggravates the fuck out of me. So as you can see there, Sebastian Williams literally used Dustin's entire clip and didn't credit him and then Dustin called him out after he copyright striked Sebastian's channel because I feel like he was totally in his right to do because he was the one that spent the time making that edit and putting everything together. So I think it's so funny that Sebastian's getting all upset that T-Spill 
quote unquote, used his video, but yet she didn't because it's been proven that. And then he goes and tries to call her out in front of everybody on Twitter, and he is completely wrong because she didn't even use his video, but yet he is fine totally stealing somebody else's entire clip that they spent time making without crediting them and not caring. But that is everything that I have for today's video, so I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you feel that Sebastian Williams was wrong because he clearly didn't use T-Spill's video in his and he called her out on Twitter even though he shouldn't have because he didn't use her video? What do you think about Sebastian Williams stealing Dustin Daly's content and that clip edit that he made without giving him credit? I think that Dustin was completely right to copyright strike his channel and call him out on Twitter, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video, please make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button and hit that bell icon and set your notifications to all so you'll be notified of every time that I upload a new video. All right, that's everything for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!